Live from the Starfield International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel, welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Hello, and hello. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. Or as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. Wow. Whoa. So, let's get this straight. What he did was, he, uh, he picked up a porn star, um, paid her to have dinner with him, introduced her to his ex-wife, as you do. Uh, uh, went to a hotel, uh, got, got drunk, got naked, trashed the place while she was locked in a cupboard. And uh, that was a Monday. What, what did he do New Year's Eve? Anyway, welcome. The Golden Globes is a celebration of the best in TV and movies over the last year, voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. It was a big year for 3D movies, Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Um, I, I feel bad about that joke. I, no, no, I'll tell you why. I'm jumping on the bandwagon, because I haven't even seen The Tourist. Who has? Um, but, no, it must be good, because it's nominated. So shut up, OK? <laughs> And I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going around that the only reason The Tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. <laughs> Let's... No. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. <laughs> there were a lot of big films that didn't get nominated this year. Nothing for Sex in the City 2. Um, no, I was sure the Golden Globe for special effects would go to the team that airbrushed that poster. Um, <laughs> well, great job. Girls, we know how old you are. I saw one of you in an episode of Bonanza. <laughs> also not nominated, I love you, Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist, then. Um, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. <laughs> They're not here. OK. <laughs> There's been some great new TV drama this year, like Boardwalk Empire and The Walking Dead. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Talking of The Walking Dead, congratulations to Hugh Hefner, who, uh, who's getting married at the age of 84 to 24-year-old beauty, Crystal Harris. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said, because he lied about his age. <laughs> he told me he was 94. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's, that'll... <laughs> I warned them. Um, one of the biggest events in TV this year was the finale of Lost, one of my favourites, and uh, all the questions were answered, yeah. Um, I have to say, though, it was quite a complicated finale. I'm not sure I totally understood it all, but from what I can make out, I'm pretty sure the fat one ate them all. Uh, I, I think... Should we get on with it? 
Our first presenter is beautiful, talented, and Jewish, apparently. <laughs> Mel Gibson told me that. He's obsessed. Um, <laughs> please welcome Scarlett Johansson. You know our next presenter from such films as Hudson Hawk, Look Who's Talking, Mercury Rising, Colour of Night, Fifth Element, yeah. Heart's War. Please welcome Ashton Kutcher's dad, Bruce Willis. <laughs> Sometimes Hollywood's do, uh, Hollywood does provide you with outrageous fortune. Thank you. Next up, Eva Longoria has the daunting task of introducing the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> That's nothing. I just had to help him off the toilet and pop his teeth in. Um, <laughs> it was messy. Please welcome Eva Longoria. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press, Philip Burke. Thank you, Eva. And Ricky, next time you want me to help you qualify your movies, go to another guy. All right? I love this next presenter. He's so cool. Um, he's the star of Iron Man, Two Girls and a Guy, Wonder Boys. Sorry, these porn films. What? <laughs> kiss, Kiss, Bang, Bang. <laughs> Bowfinger. Really? <laughs> yeah. Up the Academy. Come on. He has done all those films, but many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. Aside from the fact uh, that it's been hugely mean-spirited with mildly sinister undertones, I'd say the vibe of the show is pretty good so far, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, uh, I consider myself a veteran of sorts, and I've made uh, somewhat of a study of this. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know if an actress can do her best work until I've slept with her. Julianne. <laughs> <laughs> Told her that I was working with strange new feelings that were confusing me, Angie. <laughs> Only to have her blow me off halfway through the shoot like it never happened, Annette. <laughs> or casually mention that her boyfriend is coming for a location visit because he misses her and what they have is real then have the gall to invite me to join them at a three-top for dinner, Anne? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now, I'm not trying to creep anyone out, but where's Emma? <laughs> I, I think I got something for us. It's kind of like a blue Valentine thing, but not age-appropriate. Now, I'm not saying that my theory doesn't hold water, but somehow all of these women rendered exquisite performances without a shred of help from me, so I guess I'm just saying, if I could, I'd give it to all five of you. <laughs> no. At once. The award. Right here, center stage, in front of my wife, the audience, and millions of viewers. Our next presenters are two of the funniest people in America. 
She stole the show on Saturday Night Live, then went on to create, write, and star in her own show, 30 Rock. He was a jobbing actor, career not going that well, if I'm being totally honest, who, who got his big break when I cast him in a remake of a show that I created called The Office. He's now leaving that show and killing a cash cow for both of us. Please welcome the wonderful Tina Fey and the ungrateful Steve Carell! Never gets old. <laughs> Tonight, we stand before you not as Golden Globe Award winners, but as writers. Don't turn the channel. We're still stars. But as stars who are also writers, it gives us great pleasure to honor the nominees for Best Screenplay. Screenplays we could have written if we had had time. <laughs> like the one about the mountain climber. I would have given my right arm to have written that. There's a story of a couple of lesbians. It's a lesbian couple. Ah. There's a long, complicated sci-fi thriller starring Leonardo DiCaprio, not unlike my dreams. Mine as well. There's also the story of Britain's King George V.I. The Sixth. V.I. The Sixth. And finally, the true life story of social networking and how it ruined our ability to interact one-on-one. -on -one. I heard about that movie on Facebook from a friend I never met. Welcome back. Now, our next presenters are young and thin, with hair and teeth. They're lovely to look at, which is just as well, because they're presenting the award for Best Foreign Language Film, a category that no one in America cares about. Please welcome Olivia Wilde and Robert Pattinson. Jeremy Irons. Here are the nominees for Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. OK. What can I say about our next two presenters? The first is an actor, producer, writer and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13 and Saving Private Ryan. The other it's Tim Allen. <laughs> well, you know, like, like many of you, we recall back when Ricky Gervais was a slightly chubby but very kind co comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of which is he now. Hello, and welcome back. The next presenter is a national treasure, Miss Congeniality herself. This down-to-earth girl next door first stole our hearts as a bus driver and then as a railway fare collector. Now, of course, she wouldn't be seen dead on public transport because, as she just said to me backstage, poor people are gross and they smell bad. Please welcome Sandra Bullock. That's about it. Um, well done. Justice there. Thanks, everyone in the room, for being good sports. Thanks to NBC. Thanks to Hollywood Foreign Press. Um, thank you for watching at home. And thank you to God for making me an atheist. Thank you. Uh, I want to say last night I watched the Golden Globes. I was offended by Ricky Gervais. <laughs> I was offended that a comedian could be that funny at an award show. <laughs> Ricky was hilarious. Uh, and I hope you had a nice weekend. Otherwise, I watch a, a little bit of football as well.